Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this is a short video on how to download and save Ubuntu 12.04 LTS server on your computer, uh, Windows machine. Uh, if you need some additional info, this is Ubuntu server download page right here, or Ubuntu help. And the help page will also has a section for the server. We'll begin to download the server now. To download Ubuntu server, go to the Ubuntu download page, www.ubuntu.com download. Now, it normally takes you to the desktop, but let's just go to the server here. Click on Ubuntu server. And they recommend the 64-bit download. Now, if you're using VirtualBox, you can use either one, but even if you have a 32-bit machine, VirtualBox says it can run with a 64-bit. Uh, I would recommend run 32-bit with 32-bit, but uh, if your machine is a 64-bit machine, go ahead and take that 64-bit, because that's a recommended download. Start the download. Now it's going to ask you where it wants you to save it. Here I have internet security because uh, uh, Internet Explorer and click save. And where I see up here it says Mike downloads, but I prefer to put the downloads in a in a public place. So I'm going to go to the computer. This C and make right click and make a new folder and call this folder downloads in the C directory and then also make a new folder in my downloads and call it Ubuntu and then continue my descent on the tree directory tree and make also another new folder and call it Ubuntu server. Open that and then this is where I put the 12.04 uh, AMD 64 64-bit uh, server file. Now we come back when this is uh, back to make sure everything is downloaded correctly. Now you'll notice that at the end of the download, there's another item that comes on in here. And um, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but you're going to need this file here to uh, come into and uh, make your, I'm sure that your Ubuntu uh, server download is working. Without this file, you'll actually, will not see anything when we go back to check it. So, once this copying one item, so let's open the folder, make sure that this is, here it is, in our Ubuntu Ubuntu server, and that's it. You should be ready to go, and, uh, and it, this should be an ISO file. If I right-click and look at the properties of this file, it should be an ISO file. I should have had this set. See, it's this type of file, disk image ISO file. And um, you're ready to go install it into uh, whatever type of virtual machine or uh, convert it to an image file, however you want. Thank you.